Hi folks, in this demo I'm going to show you how powerful the Office 365 DSC module can become when you're integrating it with your DevOps pipeline. In my case, what I have is I have a, an Office 365 DSC script that is located in a DevOps repo in one of my private uh, repository that I have. And I've defined just an empty skeleton for my Office 365 uh, DSC. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and add some components to my configuration. I'm going to add a new SharePoint Online site named DevOps. I'm going to create a brand new team called DevOps Demo. Uh, and I'm going to create a private channel called DSC Discussions for that team. Now the only thing I need to do is I made the modification to my script. I can just go and do a commit. And because I created my pipelines in a way that it will automatically do continuous integration, so it detected that I made a change here, it's going to go and automatically initiate a build. What the build does effectively is just take all of the files that I have in my repository and copy them into what we call an artifact. Once that build commits, I'm going to get an email saying that the build was successful and it's automatically going to trigger a release. Now, if we take a look at the actual release, the release definition is quite simple. The only thing I'm doing is I'm executing a PowerShell script that is located within my repo. And that script is called, if I can just browse to it, that script is called deploy.ps1. So that's all it's doing. So the moment the build is completed, I'm going to go in and call the deploy.ps1 script. And what that script effectively does is nothing but install the module. So it configures my agent uh, to allow DSC. It's going to go and install my Office 365 module. And then it's just going to call into my Office 365 PS1 script, which is the one I modified here. And this will compile my MUF file and automatically start the execution of my configuration. So if we go back to my build pipelines, so the build completed successfully. Now I should see a release going on. So right now the release is happening as we speak. And as part of my uh, definition, what I defined was a brand new team called uh, DevOps and a channel under it called DSC discussion, if you remember correctly. Right now my team's section is completely empty for my tenant so we should see if everything went well we should see the teams appear in a few seconds now when we go back to the release definition we can take a look and see where the execution is at so right now we can see that it's currently uh, configuring WinRM still we should see the execution of my ps1 script happening anytime now so this is going to generate my muff file and then it's going to go and apply the configuration so this is an interesting um, change to the traditional way of doing DSC right now is we have an agent that will go in and execute my configuration and that agent is going to do remote calls into Office 365 to configure all the various components I have to find. So this is an idea where this is the, the scenario where you would have your IT admin manage everything that they have in um, their Office 365 tenant as code. So anytime somebody requires a new change, so for example, a new managed property to be added to the search, a new user properties to be user added to the user profile properties, to be able to change the team's fund settings, for example, create a new mailbox, whatever. This should now be done through DSC and managed in a central way so that we can actually make sure that if we need to replicate those settings across multiple tenants, we can do it. So using DevOps, one thing we could do as well is as part of my release definition, if I go back one, right now the only thing I have is a deployment to a single tenant. But let's say your organization has a dev, a QA, and a prod tenant. You can ha have different stages of your release. So the first stage would be deployed to dev, and then you would have a post-deployment condition where somebody would need to approve, review the change, approve the change. The moment the change has been approved in dev, it automatically gets deployed to, the, to QA, and then ultimately to production. So we can see that my build success, um, so it succeeded. We can see that everything got executed. So we see the site, SPO site here. Uh, we should see the teams at the bottom. So teams, teams channel. So if I go back to teams now, drum roll, I now have my 
general channel which comes by default and my DSC discussion uh, channel as well. So hopefully this video helped you understand how to um, integrate Office 365 DSC with your DevOps pipeline and hopefully you get to see exactly what the true power behind the Office 365 DSC really is.